friends, Erica Tesla here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I, I hope is a fun one. It's been a while since I've had a chance to film. I've had a lot going on in my personal life. Mostly good stuff, but some crazy stuff too. Um, some of you might know I have two kids. One had a sprained ankle recently, so we were dealing with that and just busy mom and life stuff and that kind of thing. So I'm really glad to be back here filming today. I thought just to ease myself back into a filming routine, it would be really fun to chat with you guys about some palettes that I am pulling out to use a bit more this spring. I was inspired by a video that Steph's Beauty Stash recently did where she shared some of her top palettes that she was planning to use this spring. And I thought, well, that's a really fun idea because it's such a great way to reintroduce ourselves to things that we have in our collection and to think about ways to use makeup that we already might have and hopefully this will inspire you maybe you have some of these products maybe you have something similar but i thought it would just be fun to share with you some of the things that i have in my stash because i'm a little bit nosy too like i always love to see what other people have in their collection. So I love stuff like declutter videos, collection videos, things like that. It's always fun to compare and just see what other people enjoy because we all have different makeup tastes. Some of us have very similar things in common and some of us have really vastly different taste in makeup. And so I always think it's fun to just see what other people have in their collections. Kind of, um, it's kind of the same reason I like HGTV. I'm nosy. I like to see what other people's houses look like. And, um, you know, I love shows like house hunters and, you know, um, real estate shows, home makeover shows, those kinds of things. Um, not because I need more houses, uh, or that I'm particularly interested in real estate. I just, I like to see what people have. And um, I don't know, comment below if you're like me and you just like to see what other people are doing. That being said, let's get into the video and chat about some of the stuff that I plan to be using this spring. So just to explain a little bit the format of the video, um, I have products from a few different brands. So this is not really like a ranking video, but these are products that I definitely want to, use a little bit more and so there might be multiple palettes from like one brand so hopefully that's okay with you guys i think it'll be really fun to talk about each of these products so getting into it the first palettes that i want to talk about they are new from odin's eye cosmetics and these are the brand new perfect world collection palettes and these just came out at the uh, actually February 14th so mid-February so these have been out for a couple of weeks they are still available on the Odin's Eye website but I think the stock is getting low and I've done some looks with these on my shorts and things like that um, doing like short form content like tutorials and swatches just to give people an idea of these palettes and I have really really enjoyed these and I actually think these have come out at a perfect time because they are perfect for spring so we have three palettes we have uh, makeup just for fun Amanda here with her Flora story palette which is this really beautiful like soft muted uh, shades here I think these are like so perfect for spring there's like a very natural green theme here going on we have Lauren a Lauren May Beauty her sea talk palette and it's subtle but you've got a couple of bold pops here which i really enjoy and then we have the planet spirit palette so for those of you who are not afraid of color like aren't these just like perfect like springtime shades so i think all of these collaborators did a beautiful job i do have swatches on my other social media on my shorts um and i can link those uh in the comment box box for you but I recommend trying these out they're such a beautiful formula I've really been enjoying the Odin's eye formula and I think that these have really maintained that tradition so definitely get your hand on one or all whichever of these really appeals to you because they're such great palettes and I'm really excited to do more spring looks with these and I'll link the info for these palettes in the description box for you guys so moving on to another indie brand and i had to check and make sure that these are like available still but 
This is the Pastel Pup Palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. And um, this is actually my second one. I was gifted one um, and then it was a little damaged. And then I decided to like repurchase it because I was like having a hard time. Like the other one was kind of messy. But these are like some of the most pigmented pastel mattes that I've had the enjoyment of working with. This is such a great pastel palette and if you have um, medium to deeper skin tones like these will show up like they don't show up ashy um, these are really really beautiful shades so this is one that I like to pull out this time of year I think I wore it last year for Easter this beautiful shade belly slide like I had a whole like lavender outfit situation and um, and I love that it comes with a white and a black shade and these are really beautiful shades you can use these as companion shades even for other palettes and the cool thing about these is that they are magnetic so you can pop them out if there are individual shades that um, you want to put into a smaller palette but this is one of my favorite palettes there's one shimmer in here snowball which is such a pretty iridescent shade just to show you guys like how pretty that is okay and we'll do like a little swatchy swatchy here that's a horrible swatch, but you see, you see what I'm saying here, guys. Like, look at that. So imagine like you're doing a really pretty pastel look and you pop Snowball on the inner corner. It's, it's such a gorgeous palette. And then another one from Menagerie that I have not used as much as I would like to. Actually, I don't know that I have really used this other to, than to swatch it is the um, Sugar High palette here. This is still available on the website and it's just such a fun, colorful color story. So you have uh, a nice balance of matte shades and shimmer shades and look at the shade Nom Nom. Like that, that is really, really stunning. And I'm gonna try and swatch that for you guys so you can see like just really, really beautiful shades. I, I have enjoyed the Menagerie formula. I definitely think like they're one of my favorite indie brands. I was on PR at one point, but you know what guys, these are shadows that I'm really perfectly happy purchasing for myself. It is a small brand. Um, so sometimes, you know, you do have to like wait for your order, but like they really put a lot of care into their products and um so these two palettes pastel pup and the sugar glider palette really really great palettes to try from menagerie cosmetics okay so next up i want to switch it up a little bit and talk about um viseart shadows so viseart is a brand that really started out as like for pros. It started out as mostly a brand that pro makeup artists would use, but they have in the last few years re redone their, I think their marketing strategy, their approach. And so they've gone pretty mainstream, meaning that everyday makeup consumers can now purchase their products. So you can go on their site and you can buy, of course, like the pro style packaging and products and, and that kind of thing. But they have done these very lovely, um, like smaller, smaller and medium sized palettes. So for the everyday consumer. So I just wanted to share a few that I think will be absolutely lovely for spring and also encourage you to stop the Viseart website because they have like amazing sales. They just had a 40% off sale around Valentine's Day. And I mean, you know, the, the, for somebody that wants to try like a higher end luxury slash professional grade eyeshadow, that is the time to buy their products. I do receive PR from them, but there are plenty of palettes that I've also happily purchased myself from them. Um, so I did receive um, these in PR and this one I did purchase myself. So this is the Viseart Love Letter, Paris Love Letter. And it's such a soft, beautiful color story. Um, you have this beautiful, I'm a sucker for green shades as you'll see in a minute. So we have like another beautiful green here. And I'm sorry, don't have the names because they're on the box, which I don't have anymore. But um, this is such a beautiful, soft, springy green. Let's see if I can get that in focus for you guys. 
like if you can see that. So you can see it's a little softer than the green from the Menagerie palette, but this is so lovely for a soft wash of color. Uh, some of us want more bold, more foiled, but if you have textured or mature lids, I love the Viseart Shimmer formula because it's so much more forgiving and you can just do a simple wash of color and just feel like you have a really pulled together look. So this is one that I really wanna get out and use more for spring. I mean, you have like these great mattes here that can anchor your look and some really soft, beautiful shimmers. And then I love the Petit Four palettes that Viseart has come out with, but there are a few in particular, especially for spring that I really love. So. The first one is Praline and like this is maybe not like the most groundbreaking color story but I I love these shades so much. I have taken this palette literally all over the world with me. Um, it's been to Egypt with me. It's <laughs> come to France with me. Like I love this palette so much because when I travel to other countries um, sometimes I'm stepping out of like the American aesthetic of what a, a good makeup look is like. And so like when I still want to feel polished, I still have this palette. Um, so I have like my anchor shade here in this like matte mid-tone brown and these shimmers. And you can use them together. You can use them alone. But this is like one of my favorite palettes. And it's like the most basic thing in the world. But I love this little guy so much. And then we have two of the... Uh, Petit Four that came out, I want to say last spring, we have La Vente, which is, uh, as you can guess, a beautiful purple palette. So again, like, it's like a mini Easter egg for the eyes. Like you have these really beautiful purple shades and you have this like gorgeous purple matte. And I'm trying to dig in here because one of the things is like, it doesn't always swatch as good as it looks, but like here's this purple matte here. I'm just trying to see if I can like get that in focus for you guys. You have this beautiful purple matte. It looks so pretty on the eyes. Like if you have brown eyes like me, this is such a beautiful purple, mini purple palette. And then I'm, I'm really in love with pistache. So pistache, just like its name, it looks like a pistachio. You have the green and the little bit of tan here. I mean, these shades are really, really stunning. I mean, I did a look with these when I initially got this palette and this one is like foolproof. It's like color, foolproof color. Like if you want color, but you don't want to uh, be overwhelmed by options, then these quads are so, so nice. I mean, you can do this beautiful brown in the crease and any of these shades as your lid color and then you're pretty much done. Um, so I love these Viseart palettes. Uh, I always feel um, good in these eyeshadows. It's just such a really nice formula for me um, that I really, really love. Okay, so next up I wanna talk about Cosmic Brushes palettes. Um, what do I want to say about this brand? I mean, they have really kind of taken Instagram by storm. Like, I feel like when they have a release, it takes me back to like 2016 Instagram when like we would go crazy and we would like sell out collections. Um, but they have two beautiful palettes here. We have the Royal Rose and I've got the in very high demand Serenity palette. And I'm waiting for the Muse palette to come back in stock. But these color stories, I mean, tell me that this is not perfect for spring going into summer, right? Like these are just like such happy colors. So you have like just your pinks, your purples. You've got that really pretty pop of like blue, a little green. You got a little bit of everything. You can go neutral. You could go colorful. So I really like this. I'm glad that I picked this one up. I have not touched this one the way that I need to I need to get more use out of it I think yeah I haven't even used this one yet okay I'm I'm kind of embarrassed by that because this is really beautiful I think what I had decided to do was I really had my eye on this serenity palette and when it went back when it became available again like I snatched it up and I got the royal rose but the royal rose is really really beautiful too um but this is the serenity palette so this is just to me a whole other take on a spring color story, more like cool tones, jewel tones. Um, this has 
like some amazing shades in here. This shade Opal here is is so, so beautiful. And I'm trying not to swatch like every palette that I'm showing you guys, but it's so hard not to. And please excuse my dry fingertips. I have like such dry fingers, but like, look at this, right? Like that's like unreal. It's so pretty. And um, I'm so glad to have these palettes, but like, let's like, look at that like that shimmer so it's not like the most intense base but you get this really pretty iridescence on there so if you wanted to feel like a fairy princess here you go um these are really really beautiful for spring and i'm really excited to pull these out and use them a little bit more the next brand that I will probably be using more this spring. Um, there's two palettes that I want to talk about from the brand Glam Light. Okay, so we have Ice Cream Dream. I think this is still available, you guys. Um, please don't get mad at me if like I am like, sorry, it's not there. But like this one, she's kind of beat up. But this is another really beautiful pastel palette. I think you guys are seeing a theme here. It's a very big palette um, it's not as curated as the pastel pup palette because you'll see like I think there's some similar shades here to what you might find in pastel pup but you have like some more um, shimmers in here as well and a couple of other kind of like mid-tone shades you have these like really bright mattes um, this is such a fun palette I think this is one of my favorite glam light palettes that I have tried I love the shades in here there are a few that um, I'm really gravitating toward again we have this like beautiful green shade here birthday cake um, we've got some more neutral tones in here this is just such a pretty palette and it does come with like a big mirror so you can see hi um, it comes with a big mirror and it's just so it's so cute it's bigger but it's also really fun and then this one is a newer palette this is the strawberry shortcake very licious palette and we have these really pretty pink and green shades here. Um, I look at this one as more of a companion palette. Like if you were trying to do color, uh, but like not maybe do all color, like I usually like to anchor my looks with like, um, like a medium shade or something like that, like a medium brownish shade or something like that, and then go in with the color, whether it's like the matte or the shimmer. Um, so I'm going to probably pull this in with maybe even my Viseart, my little Viseart friend here. Um, but yeah, I, I really love this one. I have been really enjoying the, the colors in here. The pinks are really, really pretty. Um, I still need to get into this like deep green. It's so, so gorgeous. Um, Glamlight has just been doing amazing with their releases so I have in particular enjoyed um, these two and I'm hoping to get them out more this spring okay oh my ass just released some palettes guys I'm very excited about these so one I've used one I have not yet but um, I'm looking forward to it so this is the um, palette from LYS, this is called Unapologetic. So this is the colorful one. And then this was just on um, QVC. This was just on QVC. This one sold out, guys. I don't know if it's coming back. I hope it comes back and I hope they also put it on the website. So I'm still sharing this, being very optimistic that this might come back. Um, but they have this beautiful uh, six pan still in the triangular shape I've got three mattes and three shimmers and I did a look using all of the shades I haven't put the pink on the eyes yet but I I'm don't worry a look is coming with that but this teal shade here you guys like are you seeing a theme like in my looks like I'm loving these like teal shades so this is so pretty um, and then I haven't used the one in empowered yet she's she's still untouched but these are so so cute they're very travel friendly and i'm very excited to have both of these hold on let me try to like hold it like so that you can actually see these properly so we have these two i just think that they're both really really stunning i'm really impressed with these i hope lys comes out with like 
other color stories, but I think this is a very strong start to them adding to their eyeshadow lineup. So I'm very excited to be using these more um, this spring. Okay. All right, guys. So moving along, we have the Dollhouse, the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Dollhouse palette. She's beautiful, or it is beautiful. I don't want to, uh, it's not a person, it's a palette. But yes, look at this. So this is really beautiful. We have some gorgeous mattes here. I think like this is such a great palette for your everyday looks with something extra, if that makes sense. So you could do something fancy or you can do something simple. Um, I've really enjoyed the Blend Bunny matte formula in the Surge palette and the couple of looks that I've done with this one, I've really loved them as well. I need to get more into the shimmers. So this video is a combination of showing you guys what I'm using, but also motivation, like a self pep talk about like, hey, use, shop your stash, okay? So I'm very excited about this one. Like I'm getting really excited looking at some of these like more romantic kind of dusty tones. Like it's really, really, really pretty. Um, so I'm very excited to get into this one. And then I really have to talk about um, Danessa. I don't, I'm not sure if this is coming back or not, or if it's available. I think it's available some places, but this is the light work volume four. And um, this is one that's just on my list to just use more in general, irrespective of what season it is, because there's some shades in here that are just amazing. I know some people have mixed feelings about this middle row, but I think it's really, really cool. I haven't really gotten into the water activated shades as much as I would like to, but I'm very excited about this shade, Definity, because it's such a pretty like gold shade. Like there's something magical that can happen with that, right? Like you can do some magical things. Like look at that shimmery goodness, okay? And it's soft and it's like kind of subtle but it's really, really pretty. I love shades like this uh, to kind of like give a little accent. And um, of course we've got like these really gorgeous like duochrome shades in here. So I'm really excited to get this one out for the spring. Last but not least, one that I've had for a while that I really want to use more is the Kaleidos Escape Pod palette. This palette is so cool, you guys. I um, did a look I did a couple of looks with this but what I love about this one is that there's a really good balance of neutral shades like you've got like your basics that you need like these three here and then the rest of it's like color to me that's like perfect right because like you only need but so many like neutral shades this is so colorful the shimmers are so vibrant and you have these really cool, you have this bold orange here, you've got the bold blue. It's such a cool, cool, cool palette. And I really wanted to encourage myself to use this one because guess what Kaleidos did? Kaleidos actually, okay, they sent me another one of these, okay? So I did receive both of these in PR, guys. Let me, let me center myself, okay? I'm looking at my monitor here. So I did get both of these in PR and Kaleidos was kind enough to send me a beautiful PR package, but I don't need, I don't need two of these. So um, if you've made it to this part of the video, I am giving this one away. I'm giving away the extra one. I'm going to put the rules for the giveaway in my description box down below. Please read them carefully. And also please guys do not do not succumb to the scammers that are out there, okay? I'm not gonna contact you via WhatsApp. I'm not gonna ask you for financial information. I'm not gonna spam you. Um, I'm a little concerned that my uh, thumbnail might pop up <laughs> as a comment. Do not go for the scams, guys, okay? I'm gonna put the, the rules in the description box for you. It's gonna be really easy. Basically, like, subscribe to my channel and like this video and like leave me a comment okay and that's how you enter and please only leave one comment i really appreciate it um you don't need to leave like 10 20 comments you don't need to leave a hashtag from a giveaway group or anything like that um you don't need to do any of that and preferably 
if you're a real account, not a giveaway account, that would be really, really awesome um, because I do reserve the right, unfortunately, to delete like the spammy entries or the ones that feel kind of like a little uncertain. Um, and also, I hate to have to say this, but please don't leave any negative comments um, after the giveaway is closed. I did one a while ago. I think I was like around 500 subscribers. Like, trust me, it's been a slow climb. And, um, you know, there were some people who weren't really super gracious about not being selected. And I understand that, you know, it can be exciting to win a giveaway. Um, but, you know, if you don't get picked, that doesn't mean that there won't be future opportunities either through my channel or other lovely people who decide to do giveaways um, for free at no cost to you. It is free to enter. So it will not cost you anything. And so... Let's keep it fun um, and let's keep it positive because we are all hopefully grown-ups here and well, you should be a grown-up. You should be a grown-up. But um, yeah, I don't want to keep lecturing <laughs> people because that is not the point of the video. Basically, um, I'm very excited to be able to share this palette with you guys. So um, again, details in the description box. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And that's pretty much it. That's your entry right there, and I will be uh, contacting the winner. If you have an Instagram, you can leave your Instagram handle uh, for me in your comments, or let me know um, without giving away like too much like personal information. Like, don't put your address or phone number. Like, let me know how I can like contact you um, if you happen to be selected. Okay, so we will figure all of those details out. But that being said. Thank you so much for watching my video today. This was just like, let me kind of like dust off my video skills, chat with you guys about some of the fun stuff that I will be using this spring. And you know, as part of your issue, why don't you tell me like what you guys are planning to use this spring? What are some things that are in your collection that you're excited to be reacquainted with? All of that good stuff. I love chatting with you guys. Uh, about makeup and and I really appreciate the the comments that I do get from you guys it means the world to me so I just want to say thank you for taking some time out of your day to hang out with me and chat about makeup and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video bye